project, we uh, designed an automated home brewing system. Uh, this product is perfect for anyone from the experienced brewer all the way up to uh, the beginner. Uh, I can walk you through a brew all the way on our touch screen here. First screen here, we have a select brew screen. So you just pick a brew with a brew one. So brew one is an amber. Um, it gives you a list of ingredients. Um, if that's the one you want to do, you can hit confirm. If not, you can go back. So we'll go through those. We'll go to brew two. We have set up as a weed. And the fourth one we have set up as a test for demonstration purposes. All the times are a little bit shorter. So we'll hit confirm on that. Okay, it asks if all the valves are just correctly. And then are you sure? So all the valves are closed, which is what all these red lights means. So now we'll start opening the propane valve. Now it asks you to ignite the burner, so we'll hit done there. It then turns the burner all the way up. All right, so now we're all the way open. Now we're ramping up the temperature. For those who, who's not familiar with the brewing process, there's four main stages. Uh, mashing in, and then we strain. There's a false bomb at the bottom of this mash cooker. So when you're mashing, you're adding water and grain. And what you're doing there is you're, you're cooking the, uh, the brew, the mash, down to break down the fermentable sugars. And it'll go into the brew kettle, and from there, um, the third step is to boil it, add hops, um, and then we'll cool it, and we'll put in the fermenter. Uh, we got a temperature screen here. Uh, we have a thermocouple here on the side. Uh, the thermocouple goes to a thermocouple like regulator, sends voltage to the Arduino, which that then converts to a temperature. We have it reading in Fahrenheit. The bottom here is going to be zero. The top is going to be 240 degrees. Current temp right now is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So every five seconds it pulls the temperature reading and graphs it on the screen. And then every minute it takes that temperature reading and compares it to the range set with each brew. So each brew has a different range. And it compares that and if it's too high it turns the burner down. If it's too low it turns the burner up. So that ever so slightly turning this burner down to try to regulate the temperature. The burner's still set pretty high, so the temperature's still rising. So that process just ended. Um, it's now closing the propane valve all the way. The process ended going to the brew kettle screen. That displays for about five seconds, just to let you know. Um, then these LEDs changed. So now we have two green LEDs, three red ones. So those correspond to the valves, so we'll open the ones that we need to. You can open the valve here. Okay, pass it, sure. Then it tells you setting the grain, uh, move the hose to the mash cooker, so we gotta run it back to itself. So, relay activates the pump. We have a speaker, so let us know we're pumping. Okay, so now that stage is ended, so it asks the valves are adjusted correctly. So now we'll change the valves. Now we're pumping into the brew kettle here. Yeah, so now it's pumping in from mash cooker to the brew kettle. We have a heat shield right here to uh, shield our electronics in the inside of this uh, door. Because these brew uh, kettles get like pretty hot, so my parents own a really are a engraving company, so decided to laser this Uzi Loco in the name of the project. Okay, so that process ended. Uh, now we gotta shut all the valves. There's one more down there to shut. Okay, so we'll hit yes. Are you sure? Yeah, we double checked. So now it's opening the propane to the second burner. So in here we have the LCD touch screen. It is directly connected to the Arduino. Um, it reads touches, it sends signals back. Here is our pick circuit. We have one 16F88 controlling all the LEDs. Back here we have two stepper motor drivers, which are again connected to the Arduino to run the pattern. But the power source is this 9 volt battery. Um, the 9 volts needed for the pumping stage. Um, the relay that was big enough to run the pump. The Arduino was not able to throw that one. So we have the Arduino hooked up to the first relay in back here, which then lets nine bolts flow to the other relay, 
Well, it closes the other relay, which starts the pump. We have a voltage regulator over here, so we can regulate down to the five volts for both the stepper motors and to run to our speaker. We have a transistor here, so that amplifies sound to make it as loud as you guys heard.